The past few months, Training Road introduced to a new feature that I want to talk about in this video. Outside workouts based on power or intensity if you do not have a power meter on your bike. And these workouts uh, are designed to be done outside. So originally, Training Road workouts were designed to be done indoor, right? With this feature, uh, the team at Trainer Road redesigned these workouts to make them suitable for outside riding. So the intensity, duration, and the structure of the workout might be a little bit different. And the second feature is Garmin Auto Sync, meaning you will be able to push these workouts to a Garmin Edge device, a compatible Garmin Edge device. So today I'm going to enable outside workout for today's workout and take it uh, for a test ride and see how it works. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Tariq Ali from uh, smartbiketrainers.com. Thanks for tuning in. And if this is your first time here, this is where I talk about fitness tech and smart bike trainers. So consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to get notified of new videos. So I'm just warming up here and heading to uh, my workout location. And while I do this, I thought I'll talk to you about how to enable outside workout feature and Garmin Sync for your account. So first you need to enable Garmin Auto Sync to allow Train Road Workouts to be pushed to your device. And to do that, log into your Train Road account and under your account, go to Ride Sync and enable Workouts uh, to be pushed from Train Road to Garmin. Next, you need to select a workout and change it to Outside Ride. Train Road might adjust the workout a bit, so you might see different type of intervals or workout length to accommodate for riding outdoors. Uh, not every training road workout is available as an outside workout yet, but every workout in any of their training plans is available as an outside workout. So I am in the triathlon workout plan, and when I go to my calendar, today workout is Roger plus two on my schedule, and this is the workout that I'm going to do. So you will see this outdoor option button. Click on that and it will change it to outdoor format and sync it to Garmin. Workouts will be pushed to Garmin two days in advance. So just keep that in mind. So now when you turn on your Garmin Edge, make sure it connects to your Garmin Connect app on your phone. And you should see download complete message on your Garmin when it has finished syncing. It will show you have a workout to do and you can view the workout and all the details of the workout here. Okay, uh, some differences you will see with outdoor workouts. Uh, first, the warm up will not end until you hit the lap on. So you have the flexibility and time to get to your uh, training destination and not try to rush through traffic or stop sign uh, just to make it there. So warm up until you hit to uh, your training area and then um, hit the lap on when you are ready. Next, work out with uh, shorter intervals and uh, like 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off, for example. Uh, these workouts will automatically advance between uh, rest intervals and hard intervals uh, to make it uh, easy for you. For longer intervals, you will need to push the lap button during recovery sets to advance to the next interval. So Train Road does recommend creating a custom page to get you as close to what you see when using Train Road Workout Simulator as possible. And the fields they recommend, and I'll put them up here in the screen, uh, the elapsed time, three second power, lap power, time to go, which basically shows you how much time you have left in, th in the interval. Or you can use my screen, which is basically the lap summary screen, and I showed you how to create this screen in this video. Basically, I have the power three second average, time to go, and then the lap details will show you uh, your average power step and your lap time. I do wish Garmin has a custom field for target watts, but it will display your target watts range in the workout screen, which you can always use as a reference. So it will display, so if your target watts is about 275, it will display like 265 to 285 or something like that. All depends on how you have your power zone set. Uh, also, it will display your target watts for each step as you advance to each interval. So this feature should be coming to our element hopefully soon, and I cannot wait to see that one. But for now, let me know if you give this a try. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did, share it, and I will see you next time. And stay safe out there.